When it comes to joining a meeting, you have options and you get to pick and choose which works best for you. If I were to click on the option to join a meeting from my invite, BlueJeans will look to see if I have the BlueJeans desktop app first. And if I don't, it will automatically launch via my browser. To get started, you can check your camera and your audio before you've even joined a meeting. By hovering your mouse towards the top of the app, you'll see the option to mute and unmute both your camera and your audio. When your camera is not muted, you'll see this selfie view, so you can make sure you're presentable before you share your video. For those of you that have multiple webcams, there's a drop-down menu right here at the bottom so you can view or change which camera you'd like to use. There are also drop-downs here to view and change your microphone and the speaker you'd prefer to use. The options on the left include a button to start a meeting on the fly using your personal meeting ID. Think of your personal meeting ID like a dedicated virtual room or office. As long as you're in your office, anyone can join you. This is great for ease of use because the meeting number and the join link never change. Here in the middle is a list of all your upcoming scheduled meetings with an easy to find join button. To the right of each meeting, you'll see a drop down menu that shows more join options. There's an important use case that I'd like to point out with this one. Let's assume that you walk into a conference room to join a meeting and one of your teammates has already started the meeting on the conference room system. In this case, the video and the audio are already up and running, but perhaps like me, your eyes aren't as good as they used to be, so you'd like to see the PowerPoint or the content being shared on your laptop. That's what this join with screen share only option is for. You can join the meeting with the ability to see any content being shared and even share content from your own computer if needed, but no audio or video is coming from your computer. So you don't have to worry about creating that awful audio loop that happens when you have multiple mics and speakers feeding audio from the same room. The option here on the bottom left allows us to manually enter in a specific meeting ID in case you need to join someone else's meeting unexpectedly. There's also an option here to enter a moderator code. You'd get that code from the person who scheduled the meeting if you'd like to be a co-moderator. 